Hi everyone, today is the third week of the Learn How to Play Guitar Solo Weekly Challenge. I'm going to give you a few exercises, then afterwards, we, we are going to add one more note in the A minor chord tones and the D chord tones. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the first exercise, you're going to use A minor chord tones and D chord tones in your using your free will. You're going to do a guitar solo using your own style or your own groove or your own pattern. But of course, we have to divide all those six strings into three pair of strings. At first, we're going to use the first and the second string. Then afterwards, we're going to use the chord tones in the third and fourth strings. And the last one will be the chord tones in the fifth and sixth strings. Here's the first exercise. Okay, in the first exercise, we're going to use the first string and the second string and uh, choose any A minor chord tones from there and when the backing track goes to D, you have to choose the D chord tones. You can freely choose your groove. Okay, second string and third string. Then combine the first string, second string, and third string. Now, add the fourth string. One, two, three, four. A minor, D, A minor, D, A minor, D, A minor, D. And now we're going to play the fourth string, fifth string, and the sixth string. One, two, three. Four, A minor, D, A minor, D, A minor, D, A minor. A minor, D, A minor, D, D, A minor, D. D. 
now you can choose freely you can choose from first string up to sixth string it's all up to you now but please make sure that the backing track is in A minor when you play A minor chord tones and the backing track is in D if you play D chord tones All right, I... All right, you've seen that sometimes I'm sliding the notes. Those are what we call articulation. You can check one of my videos about star techniques and just go there and you can see the, how I'm articulating the notes. And you can see there that this is one of the articulation you can use a slide from a minor chord tone to D or from D to a minor Now we're going to add one more note in the A minor chord tones and D chord tones. It is the flatted seventh of A minor and flatted seventh of D. This is the flatted seventh of A minor. Then we have this. And the octave of this note is here. 2nd string, 8th fret. So when you go up, so in total we have this. And we're going to add this. This is also an octave of this note. So, all in all, we've got this. Now the flatted seventh of D chord.
this one is the flatted seventh of D. So we got this. And if we continue, first string, eighth fret. This one is an octave of this one. And also, we can add this one or this one. So from here, we get this. This is the flatted seventh of D. And this one is an octave of this one. This one I'm using it. You can also use this one if you like. It's the same. It's in C, it's in C, C, the flatted seven of D. So in total, we've got this. Use those added notes when practicing guitar solo. Okay, that would be all for today. Next week, we're going to incorporate the A minor pentatonic scale. And if you don't know the A minor pentatonic scale, please click on the cards below and practice that A minor pentatonic scale.